yeah it's me um, and this thing here beside me is uh, is my new uh, well my thoughts for a new album cover it would fold like this it's it's on recycled paper um, and I would fold it in like so fold it in like so close it off like so and then it, that would be the front and the CD would go in there you know you know so uh, it's like it's unrecycled paper um, <laughs> I find it a bit funny um, and I also have other CDs here now I don't have my first CD here I have this other one here um, piece uh, on the back it's just got that uh, not totally finished and then that's the cover Ooh. Yes. Uh, something like that. People ask me, is that you? Yes, it is. It is me. Uh, so all of these CDs are mine, yeah. And uh, if you're interested, this is the uh, Tree of Life. Uh, that's uh, this is my design here. See that? That says... Uh, to protect and deserve to protect and deserve tree of life yeah don't really like this album myself too much uh, but and here's another one here uh, little rock whoops a daisy there we go little rock um, and in there it's like so yeah little rock there my songs from from 1992 to 2002 yeah um, and then I also have what else have I got Sheer Life Little Rock I guess that's it actually isn't it yeah and the the, oh, the the CD for that was my original silly idea for uh, for the the one I showed you at the start uh, but that's the inside cover of it. Yeah. Gavin Cohen in there. So, uh, I don't know if anybody's interested in um, purchasing one of my CDs. I also have another CD, but is it here? No, this is how unprofessional I am. Don't have all my sheet together. But somehow I managed to make it. Now, I'd like to just quickly say, what is Kleinfelter syndrome? Um, a syndrome is a condition distinguished by a number of features that often occur together. Kleinfelter syndrome is the name given to a condition in which there is a characteristic group of symptoms, including the tendency to develop breasts, sparse facial hair, and an inability to produce sperm. Uh, it says on this website the condition only affects males. Well, Kleinfelter syndrome would only affect males, but XXY is also found in females. Again, we're all females and males here, uh, because XXYs can be male and XXYs can be female. Technically, I think we're all bloody intersex. But anyway, um, yes, an additional X chromosome is found in the cells of these affected boys. Uh, giving them two X chromosomes instead of the usual one. Uh, and Kleinfelter syndrome, first described in 1942 by Dr. Harry Kleinfelter, is one of the more common genetic conditions because it affects between 1 in 500 and 1 in 1,000 males. We're not sure about the females yet. Uh, there are a number of features that could be present in Kleinfelter syndrome. Some will have more symptoms than others and there will be difference in the degree of severity of the symptoms between affected boys. In some cases a diagnosis of Kleinfelter syndrome is not made until a boy approaches puberty and some men may never be diagnosed with the condition because it's not really, look at me, I mean, do you think I look like an XXY? I, I look like an XY, don't I? At this stage, I, I always felt like um, something else and I always needed to be treated nearly like with the with the grace and respect that women uh, expected you know um, so 
Um, so anyway, as children, boys with Kleinfelter syndrome are often quieter, less assertive and more passive than other males, and more so than their siblings. They may be slower to develop language, motor skills and emotional maturity than their peers. This does not mean that they will not achieve these things, but will do so at a slower rate. However, as boys with Kleinfelter syndrome grow older, shyness, unassertiveness and relative uh, immaturity may persist. Problems with language, speech and verbal skills generally are the major deficits for these boys and may need some remedial intervention at school. Learning difficulties may be the greatest developmental challenge. IQ, however, is in the normal range, although it may be 10 to 15 points lower than that of their siblings. Of course, ignore that sort of comment because you can't generalise like that. Um, boys with Kleinfeld Kleinfelter syndrome tend to grow at a slightly quicker rate than their peers and their final height might be greater than expected, but is usually within the normal range. Normal range. In around 50% of boys, there is some growth of breast tissue at puberty. This can be dis distressing, and about 10% of cases may need to be corrected by plastic surgery, including myself. When I was a teenager, I got uh, breast surgery, but you can see that on my other video. Body hair, beard growth, and testicular size are all reduced in males with Kleinfelter syndrome. But I'll just stop there as well and say that I've always had hairy legs and hairy armpits. Um, and, and, and hairdressers always said that my hair was very uh, thick, but it's not so thick anymore because of testosterone. Right. Um, so, uh, the use of the male hormone testosterone has been effective in increasing strength and developing a more masculine appearance. Treatment usually begins around the age of 11 to 12 years old and can be given in the form of patches or, as for me, intramuscular injection. Uh, there's also gel available and there's also implants uh, and probably other things. Consultation with an endocrinologist, a hormone specialist, will provide further information about testosterone treatment. Sexuality in Kleinfelter syndrome is perfectly normal. Again, what the hell is normal? Um, although men with the syndrome may be infertile. Uh, most of us are infertile, but uh, some of us have fathered children. So I want all XXYs watching this now, who just maybe found out, not to freak out, it's alright. Uh, you can be basically rel relatively normal and uh, enjoy your lives as as they are uh, but it is i would say necessary to um, contact xxy associations and try and find your group of xxys that that agree with you because uh, or see that your perspective on life because i think we do have a different perspective on on life um, compared to most xys and xx's and other sexes so uh, as i've discover there's at least five sexes in the world and not two um yeah so I'll leave it at that hope you enjoyed the cd displays and i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the the information on kleinfelter syndrome